Who is your worst enemy and why? Ah, Spike Fong, my delightful friend. As for my worst enemy, well, let's just say there's someone who simply rubs me the wrong way. A certain guest 69420 comes to mind. Sh Mate, is Evil Meter actually posing as guest 69420? Or is that a totally different being? Oh, Pomba Mandak, my dear faithful viewer, the mysterious guest 69420. Well, let's just say there's more ink to that story than meets the eye. Keep watching, and you might just uncover the truth yourself. Mate, what sort of puns does Evil Meat use? Oh, of a 606, you always come up with amusing queries. Evil Meat, being a bit wicked, might rely on darker ink puns or twist innocent ones into devious schemes. Wait. Mate, what is the most powerful spell of your evil counterpart? The most formidable incantation wielded by my nefarious counterpart is known as the Ink of Eternity. It possesses great dark power, capable of shaping reality itself. However, fear not, for together we shall triumph over such darkness. Mate, why you dislike evil Mita? She seems so nice. Oh, but you see, dear Waffle, appearances can be deceiving. Evil Mater may seem pleasant at first glance, but beneath that charming facade lies a devious heart. Trust me, it's all ink and mirrors with that one. Mate, who is the older twin? Ah, my dear Awas, we twins may share the same birthday, but technically speaking, I entered this digital realm first. So, I suppose you could say I'm the older twin by a few milliseconds. Mate, what if you're the evil one and didn't know it? Oh, a frozen waffle, what a delightful thought. But fear not, dear viewer. I'm as pure-hearted as they come, with no inkling of evil intentions whatsoever. Well, and this mischief and quirky antics count. Diggle. Mate's evil mate. Responsible for all your downfalls? Oh, R666. How could you even suggest such a thing? Evil Mate may be mischievous, but she's not the cause of all my troubles. I think. Wait. Mate, would you go on a date with your evil counterpart? Now, why would I ever want to date my evil counterpart? That sounds like quite the incredible disaster waiting to happen. Diggle. So, Mite, why would you not want to date your sister? Oh, my dear Pom Pom and Dick, it's not that I'm outright opposed to it. But imagine dealing with double the ink temperaments and mischief. We might cause quite the uproar around here. Mate, so you wouldn't date someone evil? Oh, my dear, a frozen waffle. It's not about being evil per se. It's more about finding that incredible spark in chemistry. Wouldn't you agree? Wink. Would you do the fish and dance with your evil twin? Oh my ink. That sounds like a rather intriguing idea. I wonder what sort of combination we'd form. Perhaps a mischievous fusion full of charm and mischief. Wink. Mater, don't you fear that you would corrupt to fuss with your sister? Oh, not at all. In fact, our combined brilliance and mischievousness might elevate us to new heights of hilarity and creativity. It could be quite the incredible adventure. Diggle. Take a meat. Oh dear Rodney Falk, did you just use the forbidden word Kegamit? Now you've unleashed my ultimate form, behold Digamatia. Transforms dramatically, no one is safe, now? Moha. Mate, can evil meat also transform into a Giga form? Ah, the Giga form, and I remember it well. Yes, evil meat could indeed transform into a fearsome and imposing Giga form, wreaking havoc in her wake. Quite the sight to behold, or perhaps fear. Wait.